Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, is it recommended to automate unstable functionalities? Let me answer. First of all, let's understand what exactly are these unstable functionalities. Unstable functionalities are the functionalities in the application which are still undergoing the changes. Okay, developers of these applications are modifying this functionality or they may be fixing the code or they are modifying the code, whatever the reasons may be, these functionalities which are still undergoing the changes by the developers are known as unstable functionalities. You can also call a particular functionality in the application as unstable when it has a lot of defects or issues. Okay, until these issues and defects of that particular functionality of the application are fixed, we cannot call that functionality as a stable functionality. Okay, either it may be undergoing changes or it may be, okay, uh, giving us a lot of issues or defects. Those functionalities are known as unstable functionalities. Now the question here is, is it recommended to automate unstable functionalities? The answer is no, it's not recommended. I'm not saying that it's not possible. It's possible to automate unstable functionalities. Okay. There may be some situations where the client still, even though the functionality is unstable, the client, you know, the client may be asking you to still automate it. Okay. So that kind of situations you may come across in real time. But it's okay, okay, you can go and automate if the client says, but you can educate the client saying that, okay, it's not a good idea to automate the unstable functionalities. If the client doesn't listen, then go and automate it. There's no problem in that, okay? But it is not recommended, okay? Education is fine, but the client, uh, you know, forces you to do so, you have to do it, okay? There's no other way, right? So it's not recommended, but it is possible, okay? So why it is not recommended to automate the unstable functionalities in the application? These are the two reasons. First, if you, automate such kind of unstable functionalities, the automation scripts will give you inaccurate results. Okay. As this uh, functionalities are undergoing changes, you will get false positives or, uh, you know, false positives or true negatives kind of stuff. Okay. Something which is passing will come as failure in your script as a result, because this change, this changes are happening. You don't know what is passing, what is failing. A lot of confusion is there in that area. Okay. So your automation scripts, may not be able to give you proper results. Uh, sometimes the scripts will fail and uh, you, you go and check in your application why the scripts are failing and you will see that the code changes happen and that looks very good. Okay, the changes are properly done. As a human being, we can assess that this is correct, but automation scripts, they will just follow the instructions. So you will get inaccurate results, okay, by automating the unstable functionality. So a lot of headache in going and checking whether this is a proper result given by automation script or what's happening uh, in what changes have happened in the application functionality. Okay. That's that kind of confusion. Second thing is maintenance challenges. Okay. So let's say uh, when the changes are going on before the changes went on, you automated that functionality and later changes happen. Again, you have to go to the same automation script and modify it according to the approved modified changes. Okay. You have to keep on modifying. Okay. The until the application functionality becomes stable, the the maintenance is very high where you have to modify your automation script again and again and again and again. So these are the two drawbacks or the problems why automation of the unstable functionality is not recommended in real time. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.